I don't have a design philosophy. I'm actually, I, I find it even hard to kind of define myself as a designer because I'm somewhere in between artist and designer, I guess. I do have a, a method of working though, and that's always like, I always start with this obsession around, uh, around a, a topic, and that topic is, is usually or always actually quite big and abstract, so like trauma, or like in other projects it was conflict or, or blindness or, you know, these huge like endless topics. And then what I do is um, I kind of reach out and collect individuals, basically people that have knowledge or have a specific relationship with that subject. And I just meet with them and I talk with them about the subject. And through these conversations, like some patterns emerge and slowly it becomes really clear for me, like what's the project about and what I need to do. For me, you know, my, my if you can call it a goal or my aim, uh, was really just to create to create a, a work that will encourage people to maybe rethink uh, trauma in the world and kind of maybe look upon their own part within global trauma and maybe create discussion that would, you know, that would maybe light trauma in a different way. I still hope that we could as a society uh, talk about trauma and traumatic event in a more kind of progressed way and not treat it as something that is inevitable or that is, you know, just like embarrassing or too hard to kind of seriously deal with.